This is one of the strangest occurrences in Cameroon's history. Two prominent politicians share a peculiar date that marks the beginning and end of their lives. EML Engeli, John Gufoncha. These are two prominent names in Cameroon's history, especially for the English-speaking section of the country. What is even more intriguing about these names is the fact that on the date that Engeli was born, on that same date, John Gufoncha died. Too much coincidence for two persons who were at loggerheads when it concerned the independence of British Southern Cameroon. You see, on 10 April 1916, E.M.L. Endeli was born in Beya, now called Boya, while on the 10th of April 1999, Jungu Foncha died in Bamenda. So this date brought forth a great politician to Cameroon and took away another. And now if you think you have your plate full, the mystery even gets deeper. And it gets even shocking to realize that it is not just the month of April that is coincidental for these two, but equally the month of June. You see, Jango Foncha was born on 21 June 1916 in Bamenda. While in the same month of June, but on a different date, EML Endeli died. That is 29 June 1988. So much coincidence, right? Let's go over it again. So EML Endeli and Jungo Foncha share the same birth year that is 1916. And on 10 April 1916, EML Endeli was born, while on the same 10th of April in 1999, Jungo Foncha died. And on 21 June 1916, Jungo Foncha was born, and on 29 June 1988, EML Endeli died. Now, for those who may not know who these two personalities are or seem to be forgetting their role in Cameroon's history, let me rewind for you a little bit. EML Endeli was a politician who hailed from the Southwest region, precisely the Wakbe origin, fondly called Bakwiri. He created the Cameroon's National Federation in 1949 and he was the first Prime Minister of British Southern Cameroon from 1st October 1954 to 1st February 1959. And he was one of those who spearheaded the fact that British Southern Cameroon should gain its independence by joining Nigeria. While John Gufoncha was a politician who hailed from the Northwest, he created the KNDP political party in 1955 and he took over from Endeli and became the second Prime Minister of British Southern Cameroon from 1st February 1959 to 1st October 1961. Now, John Gufoncha was one of the main actors who championed for British Southern Cameroon to, get, to gain its independence by merging into a federation with French Cameroon. Now, before these two became political opponents, they were once on the same team and were all part of the Cameroon National Congress, a political party that advocated for the autonomy of British Southern Cameroon at a time when it was an integral part of Nigeria. Now, their disparity only came about when their political views differed as concerned to the independence of British Southern Cameroon. Now let's have this conversation. Do you think that Southern Cameroonians would have been experiencing a better fate if they had followed Endeli's course in joining Nigeria? Leave your opinion in the comment section and of course like and follow for more. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get informed on every content I post.